We've got Carol Dale here now, and in the Ram game tomorrow, who's going to be defending against you? Uh, of course, uh, Boyd and I flip-flop, so to speak, and uh, we'll be running against uh, Clancy Williams and uh, Irv Cross. Which one do you respect more? Well, they're both uh, very fine defenders, so uh, don't really... Uh, <laughs> Some of them are stronger, have strong points and uh, just, uh, weak points. Just how tough is it to try to outmaneuver these fellas? Well, of course, uh, the pass protection is a big key uh, to successful pass, and usually uh, we can get open after so long a time if we have to, if the guard has time to throw. Well, I know it's been a few years since you've been traded, but you want to get any revenge against your old teammates? Well, not really revenge. Uh, the Rams been doing a lot of talking and. Uh, as I think everyone knows, so uh, naturally, uh, having played there for five years, that it, it'd be, uh, uh, I'd be very, uh, well, thankful uh, to beat them again. I think there's a little more balance is in the cent central division as the rest of the National Football League now, I think. Well, I definitely feel this way. We have uh, four teams, I think, that can knock each other off uh, any given Sunday, and uh, of course, this makes for an interesting race, and uh, it makes it more important when you're playing outside of your uh, division to uh, to win. I think the race will be a little bit tighter, and maybe in the second half, so speaking, that the Bears always get off to a slow start and then come back later in the second half. I, whether they get more momentum or what, I don't know. But right now, they're one and three, and I don't think they're that bad of a team. Well, of course. Uh, the thing about uh, us as Packers, uh, regardless of who we're playing, we have to get ready. Otherwise, they're uh, they're world beaters because they all get ready to get, try to, uh, of course, uh, beat us. You think tomorrow with the rush from the front four, you'll go for the short pass? Most of the time, we'll go for long ones. Well, uh, our, during the game, actually, the defense dictates what we do. Uh, of course, when you throw the longer pass, it does take more time, and they do have a, a strong front four, of course. What's your favorite pass pattern to run? Post? Well, uh, really, uh, I'd say the fly or the post, the long pattern. Most of us like to catch those, but the, the best one, I guess, is a completed pass. <laughs> well, this year you've got the highest average gain per pass. You doing anything different, or the Packers is this just working out this year? Well, here again, we try to do what dictate, uh, defense dictates, and uh, sometimes they uh, have a tendency to overplay our short passes, and uh, as a result, uh, we've been forced to get the protection and have been able to throw deep. You have a great quarterback in Mr. Bart Starr, and I think that may be one of the reasons why he gets to your receivers. Do you know when the ball's coming? Is he, He's a great quarterback, isn't he? Oh, yes, Bart's uh, a great quarterback, of course, a great student of the game, and uh, if he has the time, I said, now, the most important men are those front linemen. Uh, they're most important to Bart and also to the receivers. Uh, they're sort of underrated, I think. Right. Well, these are the men that don't really get the uh, attention. But uh, Bart uh, has uh, excellent timing. In other words, he's been with uh, each, uh, all of our receivers here for, I've been my fourth year, and the rest of them been here longer. So uh, he's able to put the ball there on the spot. Well, when you came over from Los Angeles, did it take you a while to adjust to the Packers system? No, not really uh, any personal adjustment on my part. Uh, it did take time, I think, for Bart to be able to read uh, my moves. So this is where the responsibility uh, really lies. Well, this is the slowest Packers start in, I think, nine years. Do you think the Packers will be able to come back? Well, we're 2-2. Two and two. We've uh, lost two before. At 65, my first year here, we had a, an offensive, uh, well, uh, <laughs> problem in the middle of the season, uh, kind of a lag, and uh, we're still one game out, and we, we've got the personnel, so it just uh, we just have to pull ourselves together and go out and play good football, which we're capable of playing, and I think we can take care of any team in the league. What do you think of the two new receivers, Claudius James and Dave Dunaway? Uh, of course, Claudius has looked very well uh, the last two ball games, and uh, Dunaway has great speed also. So these two young receivers, I'm sure, have uh, a great future. Well, just one more question, not to keep you. How do you compare Phil Bankston and Vince Lombardi? Well, one way you could compare them, they're both great men. Uh, Phil is, uh, or Coach Bankston, I should say, is... Uh, uh, a great quiet man, and Coach Lombardi is a little more outspoken. Well, thank you very much, and good luck tomorrow against the Rams.